I will stop the negotiation with Nam the Canon. Barry threatens Ipo. Because of what has been making the rounds concerning Mazi Nam the Canon's release, because of what the news outside has been saying concerning Barry's decision on the release of Mazi Nam the Canon and the many threats coming to his government. President Mobari has said that if that be the case, he will stop the negotiation. My calling for negotiation is not because there is any fear or because we want Mazin Nambekano to take over. No. I have decided to give the a listening ear to the Igbo leaders, most especially the former Minister of Aviation, Mbazulike, and some other prominent Igbo leaders who I see to be reasonable people who gave me reasons why I should consider the release of Nnamdi Kano. President Mobari said the release of Nnamdi Kano never came from his mind, but came through the plea coming from the top Igbo leaders who he sees to be prominent people with reasonable ideas. He said that his ears are full, but then he will look into what the decision concerning people's opinion and know what to do because it's getting too much. President Mulberry is talking too much. He's talking too much. Action, they say, speaks louder than the voice. You don't need to start telling people that you, you will stop the negotiation. You, you, if you know you want to stop it, you plunge into action. You go on. After all, I poop have said it that everyone should stop begging Buari to release Nam the Kano. And besides, Nam the Kano himself is not even begging anyone for any negotiation. He said it that what he wants is justice. It is just the Igbo leaders that are feeling that, oh, that this guy has stayed too long in detention. It's our time we get him released. You understand? They are the ones that are just making this move. IPOP, as IPOP members are not even making any move because IPOP has already risen with Mazen Namdekanu. They have seen why Namdekanu is agitating and requesting for justice. Look, let me tell you, federal governments are even afraid themselves. They themselves are afraid. They know. They know what they are going to lose. They know the pain they are going to go undergo. They know. They know what they are going to lose. They don't want to pay. Just like the courts charge them to pay the Yoruba auditor. Do you know what the, the federal government are going to pay if Namdekan will win this case? And Namdekan have every advantage and opportunity to win this case. He has it. So tell me who is going to stop him. Nobody. No Jupiter will stop him. He will win it. The opportunity is there. The door is there. It's widely opened. You understand? You will win it. And the federal government they, on their own side have seen it. That's why you see that the fear is there in them. They are afraid. They don't want to even gamble it. They are afraid. Absolutely afraid. They don't want to even try it. They don't want to even try to see the trial to an end. That's why you see that they are liaising with the judge to be moving the trial forward, forward, forward until IPOP agrees for negotiation. All the while they have been pushing for negotiation, has Namdekano ever accepted? All the conditions Namdekano is giving to them before accepting to negotiation, have they ever accepted to those conditions? Namdekano is giving them those conditions because he never wanted any negotiation. He never wanted because he knew that the condition the federal government are going to give to him is to abandon the agitation for Biafran freedom, which will be the least, the last thing Namdekano will ever ever think of. You will never think about that. You will not even agree for that. You will never. I know Namdekano. He won't. He won't. 
You understand? So let's call a spirit a spirit and tell us of the truth. That is what Barry wants. So if he really wants to go ahead and stop the negotiation, let him stop it. He should even cut it off. January is around the corner. We will see another trial. But one thing I believe for sure is that nothing will be happening to Nam Kano. If anyone tries to kill Nam Kano, that person should be ready to contend with him. That person should be ready. Ha! Nam Kano is a world figure. Nam Kano is not Fusha Williams. He's not Fusha Williams. All those uh, 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 politicians or military, they killed in detention or, or in prison. If they try it, they will see that Nigeria will be, will be closed up. Nigeria will be closed up. So let us not just try it. Nobody should try it. Nobody should give it a try at all. You understand? Nobody. And Barry knows that. So, my dear listeners, to me, Barry is only issuing a threat. He's just issuing a threat. A threat which he knows, which he knows will never work. A threat which he knows will never come to pass. You understand? So, my dear listeners in the house, please and please and please, let's hear from you. Let's know what your take on this very uh, on this very issue may be. Don't forget your comments are very, 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 very important. More than important. Okay? We appreciate your opinions as, you know, as you have been, you know, sending to us your emails. We still appreciate. We still appreciate. So please and please and please. Deem it free to come in and let's hear you. Okay, if you are new, don't forget to leave your comment. Click on the subscription button as well as the bell button to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.